I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. One of the things that we liked about the house is when we put shutters on the windows. We thought they looked really nice. But not all the windows have shutters on them. This wall was painted blue like the rest of the house. The trim on the window was white, but the wall itself was blue. Now, it looks nice white, but it's kind of flat. It really needs something to pop it. So we're thinking we want to put shutters up, just like we have on the other windows. Now, I don't want to put up the plastic shutters because this room is different. It's a white wall. I don't want to put up white plastic shutters. That would just be something that would disappear into the white. So the designer in the family, Lydia, came up with the idea of putting up three slat wooden shutters. So what we're going to do today is make three slat wooden shutters. Now we borrowed the idea from the house across the street. We really like those. Ours are going to be in the back, so it's not going to be something where we're actually mimicking the house. But just the idea of the three slat shutters seems like the right thing to do. This window is 42 and a half inches tall. Now the rest of the shutters on the house are come down about two inches below the sill and about an inch above the frame. So I'm going to match that on this one. That means I'm going to have to make it three inches longer. So it'll be 45 and a half. This frame is 58 and three quarters. Add three inches to that, I come out with 61 and three quarters. So I've got a shutter 61 and three quarters, just a little over five feet, and one that's 45 and a half, just a little under four feet. For the first shutter, make a mark of 45 and a half, and I'll cut these two at a time. Make sure I got both ends butted up. There we Nice and flush. Now I could mark out three sets at 45 and a half and cut them all at the same time without having to remeasure. Except you have the problem of kerf. Kerf is not a bad word. Kerf is the width that the saw cuts. So it's going to remove a kerf from the wood as it cuts. If you don't allow for that, which on this saw blade is an eighth of an inch, approximately. If you don't allow for that, and you mark all three of them out at the same time, you end up with three of them that are pretty close, but they're not the same. In the grand scheme of things, just how important is that? Well, if you're going to do something, why not do it right? If I'm going to spend the time making a shutter, I'm going to make them all the same width. I'm going to make them all the same height. I'm going to make them all as close to exactly the same as I can. Now the other thing I could do, which is a possibility, is cut close to 45 and a half. I 
and by cutting closer to 45 and a half, I can leave a little bit of a tail on it and then just come back and stack them up and trim them all at the same time. I've done that. That just means I have to make an extra three cuts. Really doesn't seem to be worth the trouble. I just flip this over and that leaves me open to a mistake that I've made in the past. If I'm not careful, I'll cut on the wrong side of the line. And I'll end up with two that are cut too short. Must be I did it right. Had to make a run to go pick up some more boards. This one at 61 and three quarters because the window was 58 and three quarters inches high, and I wanted to add on two inches for the bottom and one inch for the top that ended up at three inches, so the total came out to 61 and three quarters. Now I can cut it to 61 and three quarters, and I'll have one more stack up to cut, and I need to cut the cross pieces. Because I'm making two cuts, it's easier just to mark both ends. But I put a W there so I know which side of the line to cut. I want to cut on the waist side. Mark W. It would help if I had it plugged in.
Measure twice, cut once. Now there's three slats, and I want to have half the width of one of the slats as a spacer. So the vertical slat is two and a half inches wide, exactly two and a half inches wide. Half of that is one and a quarter. So I want to end up with one and a quarter inches between this. Three times two and a half is 7.5. Plus inch and a half twice, which is three inches. So I need an overall length for the cross piece of 10 and one half inches. I wanted to make the cross pieces out of thinner stock, so I bought an inch and a half by three quarter. Ten and a half inches, right there. And I'm going to be cutting four of these ten and a half inch long pieces. Because of this being such an awkward length, and I don't want to end up undersized on one of them, or out of square, I'm just going to cut four pieces randomly over And then I'm going to trim them off at ten and a half. If I was doing multiple pieces, I probably would take the time to set up a, a stop. But I'm only making two sets of shutters. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.